Hi everyone, today I am so excited. I am going to bring to you for the first time a wig from The Wig Company. Her name is Luxurious and you're going to want to stick around for this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. I was approached by Julie Bird of the wig company and she asked me if I would be willing to do a couple of reviews for them. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Their wigs are so cute and they have such a wonderful price point. I am so anxious to show you what what they have offer have to offer. So today what I'm going to show you is a wig called Luxurious and I don't have a catalog but I do have her online right here. This is what she looks like. And she has another photo profile. So that's what she looks like here. And I've got her in um, the color F824. So it's got to be a, a, a caramel brown color. I don't know what the real name is. I will look it up and put it here for you. But this is what she looks like in the box that they send them in. And I will go ahead and open her up. Well, just out of curiosity, let's look at the boxing together because we I've not seen this before. So just like all others, tissue wrapped. Oh, look at that color. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be so happy with this. All right, so she's got a net around her. They've got... They've got some instructions for lace fronts because she is a lace front wig and the price point for this lace front is unbelievable really really nice check them out i'll be sure and put the link down here let's see i'm going to take her off here and she is a part mono as well oh my gosh oh i think i'm gonna I think I'm going to love her. Well, let's look at the cap construction. All right. So this is a full lace front and part mono. Looks like she parts on the left. And then, of course, we have a closed cap on the other areas, which is going to give us some permatease in this area. We have closed ear tabs with a nice soft velvet front. And, of course, hairs that are stitched right along that inside part of the cap. We have Velcro adjusters on both the right and left of the small. It is a closed extended nape as well. And then, of course, they give you all kinds of instructions inside the box on how to care for your wig. All right, let's take a look at the color blend. Brown caramel blend brown caramel blend all right well look at this oh my goodness this is so pretty it does look like it has a little bit more of a blondish gold to it but if you're of the medium to um, light browns or medium browns that likes to have um, blonde highlights this is a great a great color for you. So I'm just going to activate some of this permatease and lift it off of that that cap and the um, and activate the hairs on the the lace and mono top. All right. So all right. I don't know if they've got dimensions here. Let me take a look. Is that there's a six inch front. So we have a long bang in the front, which could probably be a side sweat bang or you could trim it. So six inch front, eight inch top, 10 inch sides and 11 and a half inch back. So we've got some good length here. The nape is eight inches as well. So she's gonna be past the shoulder length. Well, let's get this girl on and see what she can do, okay? Alrighty, and for those of you who wanna know what I've got on now, this is um, London by Polly Young. I did a review on her and she's in my library, so you can find her there, okay? All right, well, let's go ahead and try on Luxurious. 
Okay, this is luxurious. All right, we can already tell we know, know we need to do something with the bangs. Um, but the cap feels very nice, very nice, really nice. And I like the length. The fibers feel really nice and silky. All righty. So we, we did say she parted on the left. Let me see if I can get that kind of going over here. So what are we going to do with these bangs? I kind of am partial to having the bangs lift up off of my face. So I'm going to crease it backwards a little bit. And of course, you know we can always use a hair dryer. But let's take a look at that lace front while we're doing this. Oh my gosh. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we would end up spending some time needing to train these. It's already kind of parting that way. Look at the highlights. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a turnaround right now for you. I know that she's shining a little bit more blonde in the, the um, camera. But look at, oh, how sweet. And the hairline is nice. All right, I'm gonna do a turnaround for you, right? This is Luxurious by The Wig Company. So how does she move back there? Do Is the tag still sticking out? No. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so wonderful. I love this. She's so pretty. And the hairline, oh my gosh. Now I think she's got a zigzag going up here, even though I, I brushed it back. Let's see. All right, let me show you another thing that we can do with this. We can also, when we store her, we can put a clip in here, like up here. So, oh, look at that. She's already standing up pretty good. So let's take a look. How's that look to you? Does it look pretty good? That looks really nice. She does have a little bit of perm of teeth right there. But even right now with the little bit of training that I did, she is staying really nicely. She's a lower density wig, so she's going to look a little less bouffanty. And some of us really like that look, especially, it's especially helpful when you are beginning to wear a wig and you're not used to a lot of hair, especially not used to permatease. So this is the kind of wig that, I mean, what else is there left to do to her? Of course, we can always pull back, do some pompadour, and here again, now this wig, you can see she's got lots of gold highlights throughout. Very, very pretty, but she is a little on the shiny side, a little on the shiny side, so I would take some of my Batiste dry shampoo, and it would tone down the gold that we see and let me, let me go ahead and do a little spritz because I don't, I don't use much. There. I don't use a lot. And then I usually just kind of run my fingers through it to help reduce some of that really glossy shine. But the, the shine that's on her is from the product that they use at the factories to help maintain um, the integrity of the fibers. So, but look at her, isn't she cute? Oh my gosh. You could braid her, you could just, she goes behind the ears. Now for me, with my silver gray bio hair, I would need to treat the, my sideburns here. But the, fa the hair fibers are fine enough that they can go behind my ear without any trouble. Oh, this is so cute. So cute. 
let's take a look here. Now we can, because of the closed cap up here, we could take our teasing brush or a, um, a teasing comb and add a little more volume up here. Take it and back comb it a little bit. And another really good trick I want to show you about getting your bangs to stay away. So if you go ahead and get them where you want, kind of off to the side, and then lightly back brush. You see how I did that? You take the bangs, the part that you want to lay away from you, lay them across the hairs underneath, and then back, back comb them into the hair underneath. And look, it stays away. You don't have to worry about it falling in your face. Isn't that a slick trick? Anyway, but look at this young lady. Oh my gosh, we could use, we could do pigtails. Look at that, pigtails. Isn't that darling? <laughs> Just like that. Let's see, we could wear a headband. My square band that's called Paisley. I'm going to just set it right inside here. Right back there. I could even give myself a little more of a pompadour up here and have more hair behind that. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is just a beautiful wig. Very beautiful. And with the lace front. So what do you think? How do you like her? Oh, and she comes in... Six, 17 different colors. Now, some of them are not available right now, but you might be able to find a color that's just right for you. So, oh my gosh, Julie, thank you so much for letting me show this wig. This is so cute. Oh, I'm, oh, I, I love her. I'm going to be wearing her for sure because this is really close to what my bio hair used to look like. And I'm so excited to have something close. And I hope that my voice hasn't been a deterrent. <laughs> I've been without my voice for two weeks. That's long enough. I'm going to talk now. <laughs> Low density, beautiful styling. Just enough length to dust the shoulders. And the highlights are gorgeous. Oh, thank you again. Thank you, everybody, for, for being around for me. This is... I'm recording this two days before Thanksgiving, and I need to tell you how thankful I am for every one of you who talk with me, share your thoughts on my comments, and, and ask me questions or contribute to the answers of other comments. Thank you so much for being a part of my world. I greatly appreciate it, and it's very, very fulfilling, and, and it's, 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 wonderful to know that there is a community out there that we all share common goals, common challenges, and common ways of looking at things and trying to solve certain problems in our lives, hair being one of them. <laughs> so thank you so much. I needed to tell you all that, and I appreciate you. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving week, and we will see you next time. Thank you again. Bye-bye.